Hello again. Welcome back to Asgard and welcome to Valhelsia 3. Uh, this is a 1.16 pack. This has actually been, I've had it downloaded for about uh, three months or something like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit longer. Um, and I was waiting for a time to be able to start it, like as an actual um, as an actual series. I did play Valhelsia 2 just in my spare time. I did not play the first one. Um, these are kitchen sink packs, and they kind of showcase a lot of the new mod or like the mods for a certain version, kind of how um, uh, all the mods is, you know. Um, there is no quest. This is very kitchen sink. These are going to be default recipes. And I had mentioned a bit back, um, Ale brought up about doing, I believe it was Ale that brought up on the Discord about um, Create, which I know I had mentioned it in the past. Um, I actually played a bit with Create uh, back a while ago, um, back when it was it was fairly new, um, when, that, when that one video came out, you know. Um, and I actually had Create downloaded and added to Valhelsia because it didn't, um, at the time, it didn't contain uh, Create and it has since been updated and now contains the mod create now i don't even have to have it added we will be adding replay mod and probably over time maybe some additional mods to it at kind of our discretion sort of thing um so i plan to do a lot with create um create is now in 1.16 it has some new features i also plan to do a bit with mine colonies uh, within this series and i also plan to do a bit with the new mechanism there's a lot of big changes to mechanism uh, mechanism had in, there was a time when I really loved mechanism and then there was a time when I really hated mechanism um, which is like the 1.12 era the new changes to mechanism I actually really really like I haven't played around with it in terms of uh, performance to see if it it's less laggy <laughs> than it was in 1.12 but um, I, I have played around with me with the changes to mechanism and I absolutely love them a lot of big changes there so we'll be playing around with that as well as a lot of other um you know smaller mods but those are the three big the three big big mods um that i think we'll be spending a lot of time with um just kind of looking towards the future but today what we're going to do is we are going to start a world and we are going to as per usual start looking for a place to live um probably nothing fancy probably no speed building probably no um, really tech or anything like that, but we're going to check out the world and see where we spawn in at. So, we're going to call this Asgard LP. Difficulty is going to be hard. Um, world options. The world type is biomes of plenty. There's quark realistic. Does quark realistic... See, I'm not familiar with it. I don't know if it works with biomes of plenty. Give me a second. Let me, let me Google that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look like there is, um, that it, that it does work with Biomes of Plenty, at least from what I can tell. Um, however, I do think I'm gonna go with Quark Realistic, because Biomes of Plenty tends to look abysmal, in my opinion, uh, for world generation. I like its building blocks, I don't like its world generation, um, and I do actually like the Quark Realistic world generation. It's not my favorite, but it's better than vanilla. Um, so we're gonna go with the Quark Realistic, if something comes up, and we want some biomes of plenty, you know, something that we can't obtain, uh, then we'll we'll sort that out either with added crafting recipes, um, which would mean I'd have to do craft week or I'd have to add that and all uh, into the pack, or we'll just, I don't know, cheat it in and throw away some materials or something like that. We'll see. Um, if we need it, you know, for building. So I think we're going to go with the quark realistic. And for our seed, we are going to just do to Asgard. And that looks good to me. Let's go ahead and make the world and see where we spawn in at. How much you want to bet it's going to be an ocean? How much you want to bet it's going to be an ocean? I tend to always have ocean spawns. Here we go. Um, we are right next to an ocean. Um, actually, we're in an ocean. Awesome. Awesome. I win the bet. If anybody was betting against me, I win the bet. Um, yeah, we're on an island. <laughs> At least I have trees. At least I'm not spawning just straight in the middle of water. Um, oh, it's so pretty. Is that uh, plants or farmer's delight? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. What all is in farmer's delight? 
All kinds of food and stuff. I remember looking at that mod uh, at some point. I don't remember if that's one of the new, like, 1.16 ones, or if it was around on 1.12. I may have noticed it when I was looking at mods for um, Tails. I'm not sure. Looks like we do have Quick Leaf Decay, and we have some Bobbles here. Alright. A lot of the mods that we're going to be checking out are going to be... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I don't think there's any Tinkers in here, but... A lot of the mods that we're going to be checking out are going to be brand new to me. Um, and I think some of them are going to be pretty familiar also. Um, I looked at the mod list. I didn't pay super close attention. I was really looking at like the main header type mods. Uh, to kind of see what to expect as far as those go. And I noticed it whenever it got updated. And, you know, I no longer had to have create added um, kind of as a custom mod uh, we'll go ahead and get some stone just to kind of get our initial start out of the way oh and Warley's Caves is in the pack um, Quark so we're gonna have uh, some interesting underground generation I think um, oh that's something I didn't think about I wonder if Warley's Caves works with Quark realistic I hope so but I'm not sure, to be honest. I'm not for sure about that. But I guess we will find out. Uh, let me get just a little bit more cobble. The nice thing about having an ocean spawn always is that it actually does make my life a little bit easier in some ways. Um, because traveling by boat and being able to kind of scout around by boat um, is actually really nice. I'll throw that down. I don't want that anymore. And let's set out. I love the sounds. The sounds in this world. I really like 1.16. Uh, you know, we had a vanilla server running for um, of it for a bit. But I find that like vanilla servers, um, after a little while, everybody quits logging on. <laughs> so that's why we don't have that anymore. But... Uh, we got some land over here. I'd really, I think I'd like to make ground today and not spend too much time in the boat um, if I can avoid it. Because it's already about noon and I don't want to get stuck out at night, um, honestly. I do see some aquamarine. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I'm not 100% sure about any, if there's been any really big changes to Astral um, for 1.16 or not. But, uh, we will find out. Oh, and we're going to be able to do aquariums. It's going to be great. I love the, just the water update. What mod are these fellows from? And are they hostile? I don't know what mod they're from, but we're going to kill them. And we're going to find out. Oh, they're from Quark. Okay. And we got... Bauxite. I'm going to go ahead and take that just since it's right on the. Uh, this is right there. And I want to see if I can find maybe some sheep. And we want to. Let's go ahead and grab mystical petals because I would like to get. Uh, I would like to get the Tanya started. It's really honestly kind of weird. How these mystical flowers are generating because they're like little like three by three patches or well, this one's more like a four by four but there's like these really like compact little patches that they're spawning in I find strange That's... I'll kill you too I'm doubtful that I'm gonna spend too much time uh, in this area. I'm so excited because I, I know from the mods that I've played around with for 1.16, which isn't a ton, um, and it's really mostly, I mean, I've played around with like the mechanism changes. I've played around, I haven't played around with Create for 1.16, but I have played around with Create. Um, I know 1.16, there were some new features added uh, for Create though. 
Um, and I haven't played around with the changes to mine colonies. But I have played around with some of the smaller mods in 1.16. And there are some act like absolute gems of mods uh, for 1.16. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Plus there's like a lot of new decorative stuff. Like within mods and within just vanilla too of course. Um, that we'll get to play with. Ah, captured. Oh, we got a silk on there. I do like this area. I mean, it's not like a place I want to build. I need to make a pouch. Yeah, I'm going to try to get some more wool and make a flower pouch. Because... I'm collecting all these flowers, but I'm quickly losing inventory space. Um, there's some wool right up ahead. I do need pink. I can cook that. Tell you what, I really need to just, like, here in a second, set up and do some, like, cook some food and stuff. And maybe just settle in for the night because it is getting late. So, I think I'm going to do that. There's that. And then I'm going to gather up the rest of this coal. I'm not going to pass up this coal on day one, though. For sure. I love these mountains just for, like, spawning near them. Uh, so you can get a lot of coal initially. Without, you know, having to just make charcoal or something. Not a huge convent, like, not a huge difference, but it does help out, I, I find. And then we'll, uh, I gotta get some more cobble. We'll make a furnace and get some cooking going while I, uh... Probably run around and gather some more materials. Might see if we can find some iron. You see some pigs nearby. Uh, hit those up for some meat. Fifty-one coal already. I'll take it. All right. Can I mix and match wool for a pouch? I'm not sure about that. We can. Okay, great. So we'll just go ahead. Toss all of our flowers into there. Alright, let's go kill some pigs. And, like I said, I'm just going to kind of hang around this area. Um, gather a few things. And get ready before we step back out. I'm not going to live here, but these mountains like this tend to be really dense with, like, really good stuff. Um, what sort of backpacks do we have? Because, I mean, there's shulker boxes. Yeah, there's not really anything um, that jumps out at me for uh, no bags, no sacks, no backpacks. There is one backpack, but um, we're not going to be able to make it just yet. Because it does require a ravager hide, so I'm going to need rotten leather, rabbit hides, and bonded leather. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with that. Ooh, what do we got down here? I might be able to get my hands on some iron. Which would be kind of nice. Uh, let me get some more meat smelting up though. So that, uh, that pork should be done. What do we got down here? I'm seeing lots of bauxite. And I will probably take it because I know we're going to end up needing it. Uh, that's another mod. I don't know if there's anything added to immersive engineering. Um, or not, oh, we found a dungeon already. I will take it. Alright, what do we got in here? I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna make a waypoint here and just say, zombie spawner. What we got? Oh, supply camp chest. We got... Uh, oh, there's no sort. Um, string, lexica, batania, bones, bread, redstone, iron, horse armor. We will take all of that. Even though it means my... Uh, my storage space is dwindling quick. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to pop back up. I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take this coal. I don't want to go above a stack right now, just for inventory sake. But yeah, I got my son. He loves Minecraft, right? And 
Um, I got him uh, Minecraft on the Switch, and we've been playing that. Like I've been playing it with him, um, and we've been building. Uh, he's building kind of a town nearby, but he's. I've been trying to get him to help. Just come help me build, <laughs> build this one town, this one city that we've been working on. But um, whoops. I've been uh, building a big underwater city with him and that's you know the switch version it's the first uh well i don't know that it's the first necessarily um but i don't i don't buy playstations or xboxes anymore um but the switch one is the first like console one you know it's got infinite world uh you know to explore and not have those silly like borders um like invisible walls kind of blocking uh you know further travel and it's like fully updated to 1.16 so it's got the water update and everything and um, we've been having a lot of fun with that it's just vanilla of course but, uh, kind of a change of uh, kind of a change of pace for me and then we've been getting to play together which has been fun and like one of the first things we did we found a guardian temple because we spawned kind of close to an ocean and we took that guardian temple through a lot of uh, a lot of struggle, to say the least. Oh, I see you. But it would seem that uh, I'm just going to fall in the hole. Um, but we took that guardian temple and then turned that into um, our home. Alright, but we're going to set out. I'm going to continue gathering flowers. I do need orange. I see some orange up there. And I'm going to take, uh, take the sugar cane, for sure. And I'm going to take these berries. For sure. Because these you can just plant down. Sweet berries. Alright. My inventory is just... It's getting bad fast. Alright, so so far... I didn't even realize, but that was just a little inlet there. Um, I'm going to go over here. There's something on the map that looks... Interesting. I'm going to have to lock this mini-map at some point. Uh, just whenever I get around to it. but um, So that it won't spin. Is this the vanilla? Yeah, it's just vanilla beehive. So we'll just leave that alone. Oh, this is just another mountain range over here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for something. Um... I generally, as I mentioned before, I generally just head out and look for a place that speaks to me. And I say, okay, this is where we're going to call home. And I'm getting a decent amount of leather here. I mean, I like this plains area, but I don't want to build in the plains, you know. Is that, uh... What mod is this? Oh, Forbidden in Arcanus. I was about to say, I don't think uh, we would have biomes of plenty trees naturally spawning that's something I'll have to look at and see if there's a way I can get those trees naturally or if we're just gonna have to uh, command those in or something ooh I like this I like this a bit there's something over here it looks like red and orange I've got those. There's white. And lime. There's black. Okay, so the only colors that I'm missing are regular gray and brown. There is an astral temple here, which could be very, very useful. And there's brown mystical flowers. I don't know. Like, I kind of like this area. In all honesty. Because we could do something with this little, like, inlet here. Like a harbor type thing or something. I don't know. And... There's a lot of, like, biome variation. 
There's a village, which is kind of cool. Uh, I love villages and like, I don't remember which update it was that added them, but you know, like the more recent villages, um, I think it was 1.15 maybe? Um, there's snow, and not long ago I was thinking about doing like a snow build, but that's something to consider maybe. But, I mean, if we build over in this area, we have a lot of different biomes to build in and do different things in. Um, which could be kind of cool. Because you know we got to have, like, a big create factory. Oh, and the pack does have our fine storage. I was kind of curious what storage systems it maybe has. Because it's not going to have, like, super elaborate recipes. Though, honestly, as far as automation goes, I'd like to do at least most of our automation, um, like recipes and stuff, they're create and be able to do something like big and crazy with that. Um, is kind of what I'm thinking. I'm sure there'll be some that we do with mine colonies and and whatnot. But I don't know. I was in the mood normally. I you know I haven't in the past. I haven't been a huge fan of doing kitchen sink stuff. But lately, um, and I think a lot of it's because of the way I've gone about playing Enigmatica. I've played Enigmatica very much like a kitchen sink pack but with harder recipes. Um, and just focused on what I personally enjoy about Minecraft, which is more of a kitchen sink play style. Um, and just building and having a good time with that sort of stuff. And so that, like... I don't know, like, I've just been in the mood to play uh, Kitchen Sink a lot more than Quest stuff. Uh, of course, we'll still be running, um, well, we'll be running uh, Compact Claustrophobia for a little bit longer. Um, of course, it's getting close to being done. I love it. And we'll be finishing out FTB Interactions. Uh, we've still got a little bit left on that. And then well, I'm sure we'll pick up another quest pack, um, you know, after those. But um, I figured we go ahead and start this. Originally, I wasn't going to until we finished Compact Claustrophobia, but I wanted to start it in the new year. And uh, once I had more time freed up, and I haven't quite finished Compact Claustrophobia, but we are getting pretty close uh, at this point. Like a handful of episodes left, I'd say. Um, so... There's the village. And I'm not going to lie, I really like this whole, like, area. And then we've got the plains, more plains back there. Yeah, I'm really liking this area, I think. Um, I'm going to take the boat out and just sail around the coastline here and see what all's over here, but... I'm really, I just like all the terrain. We have this big, long mountain range, looks like, to work with. And we have ocean. You know, if we want to do some stuff in the water, we've got that. Um, I have a couple ideas that would be kind of cool out there. And it looks like more spruce forest. I'm not crazy about, like, living in spruce forest, necessarily, but um, I probably just won't use those too much. Instead, use the coastline. Um, areas. Yeah, this is a massive spruce forest, looks like. But we would have, you know, all of this area, which I like uh, quite a bit. Some area back here. Looks like another village. I see uh, smoke um, coming up over there. Let me, uh, let me get my the sun back out here. Yeah, we got a bunch of little mountain areas uh maybe that's not a village yeah this looks like all okay i'm probably gonna run back just so i can get a better feel for the terrain but i do think i like this area pretty good oh yeah it's like a tower um we don't have much inventory space but we'll check it out real quick pretty far from that zombie spawner I found so I probably won't do anything with that I don't imagine um, but that's okay we'll, we'll find more 
But I am glad that Forbidden and Arcanus is in here. Um, that was a mod that interests me. I haven't played around a ton with it, but um, it was a mod that had interested me before, so. Uh. What is this? Nothing in those barrels, but this is kind of a cool little tower, though. I do quite like it. Okay, so we're going to head back over, um, just on foot, and kind of make our way over, just get a feel for the terrain, and get a bit of our map uncovered here. And we're only missing gray, so I'll be on the lookout for gray. If we find that, we'll have all the Batania flowers, which would be kind of nice to have that out of the way. And gray is uh, kind of an important one to have. Yeah, and I want to check out this little plains area. See how big that one is? Because there's that really small one next to it. But I'm thinking that this is going to make for a really like nice chill sort of series. Um, is kind of my plans uh, for this series. And we'll be able to check out a bunch of mods. Play around with the 1.16 stuff. 1.16 is like mod development still pretty early in. But um, there is a bit of stuff coming you know, coming out for 1.16, and just a lot of new mods that I'm, I'm really, really, really happy to see. Um, little mods that just add a lot of, a lot of depth to small features and small things. Um, I'm gonna take this. Oh, the sounds are just so nice. So is this that, yeah, this is that one plank, well, kind of. There's like a forest that cuts through the middle of it. And we have another village in this area. So, I don't know. I really like this area. It's pretty good ways from, you know, where we spawned in at on this little island. But I'm going to try to stay away from the villages for a little bit just until we get to the point where we can, like, defend them. Um, you know, put walls up or something like that. Because I want to take care of our villagers, not wipe them out. So we are a little ways off from the village right now. And we have a dark oak for it. Man, this is a nice starting place. Another one of those like ruined tower things. There's just so much good stuff around here, I feel like. I'm trying to figure out, I think one of the first mods that we're going to mess with a bit. Um, not like nothing but yet but one of the first mods i think we're gonna mess with is uh wood. i'm gonna take it um one of the first mods that i think we're gonna mess with is going to be mine colonies and that is due to the fact that mine colonies is a in my opinion a perfect starter mod um just because the fact that you can kind of jump start a lot of uh a lot of initial base stuff with that not not really the building aspect i mean it does help um in that way um but we can start you know we can get a wood farm and stuff up and going uh for large scale building we can get a mine in place uh, to kind of fuel um you know material uh like mine material dependent stuff and um, it's just kind of it's going to be useful i think to start off with mine colonies and push that just a little bit and it's going to be a bit more fun when we don't have like super stuff from uh, like create or mechanism or something. Um, kind of starting out with that. So that's kind of my plan. And then, you know, we'll branch out. We'll start messing with a bit of create. Get into the magic mods. Play around with some of the new mods. And uh, just have a good time, I think. Like I said, this is going to be a bit more of a chill series. Um, the nice thing is there's no, like, super crazy OP stuff. I mean, there kind of is. Blood Magic is pretty OP. Batania is pretty OP. Astral Sorcery is pretty OP. But, there's no Draconic Evolution. Um, I don't know about, uh, Flight or, I mean, there's some Mechanism Jetpacks. Honestly, I'll probably go with Batania Flight, but... Um, Astral Sorcery would be good too. 
but I'll probably go with Batania Flight, I think. Um, I don't think there's any really crazy mobs, and I think this would be a good series where we could take, you know, say an episode and just go out and explore and do things, kind of like the way this episode has been. Um, and then we can also get stuff done, do some speed building, and all sorts of things. Um, it's kind of my thinking. All right, so we're going to drop down our supply camp chest. And we're going to put it in right here. That's an acacia one. There's the Asian one, which looks like this. There is the birch, which looks like this. The dark oak. Yeah, it's like that tree thing. The fortress. Oh. Oh, we'd have like a defended base. Like right out the gate here. Wow, this thing is really, really nice. Like best chest reward ever. Or chest loot ever. Um, I'm going to put the bed down real quick. Uh, then we have the jungle. Which, meh. We have the other jungle which is this one don't want that uh, we have the medieval birch which is this little bitty thing here and the medieval oak mesa about to have to sleep yeah let me go ahead and sleep and I know it's getting pretty close to wrapping up point and we're about to end out but we're gonna make our supply camp uh, as we end out this episode. Uh, the Nordic Supply Camp, which is going to be a different color. The Sandstone. The Space Wars. Uh, it's one of those uh, sand crawlers that the jaw was used. <laughs> I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Um, the Space Wars apparently was based off of like Star Wars stuff from what I understand it was brought up in the comments whenever we were looking at some mine colony stuff in that one pack um, but that pack I don't know it just wasn't that much fun um, true dwarven whoa I like this <laughs> I like this very much I mean granted some of those fly camps are gonna be more beneficial like the fortress one like having a defended um, house like right out the gate it's kind of nice but the warp whoa whoa i like this one a lot Ooh. and there's the wooden <laughs> honestly i'm like the, the three my three favorites i like the asian supply camp I think it looks cool. Uh, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like a, uh, you know what would be kind of a like general's area during a war, like a general's tent and stuff. Um, I think it's kind of cool, and it brings me back to like samurai warriors and stuff. But I also really like the uh, true dwarven a lot. Like that is really cool. But, I'm going to be honest, I think we're going to have to go with my other favorite, and that is the Warped Supply Camp. Man, if if Mine Colonies, if we can have this sort of stuff, we're going to have to like totally redo this landscape. But, oh man, this would be so cool. Um, which kind of makes me wonder, do we want to set up down here? Or do we want to set up up here? Um, I mean, there's that little hilltop, but it's not really all that high. Honestly, I think having it up on a hill would be really, really cool. Personally. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do something else down here, but I don't... Uh, I think I'd rather have this, my our town, if it's going to be like that, I'd rather have it up on this hill than, uh, oh, that's so cool. Like, that has me so pumped about mine colonies. Like, if I can build, like, entire warped villages, yeah, there's still the supply ship. 
which we could make. Those are really cheap, too. Might have to see if we can build a supply ship. Maybe next episode or something. Just for, like, decor. If there's, like, a warped ship that's, like, some crazy thing. Like, that is the first... Like, normally the mine colony stuff, I'm like, okay, that looks pretty cool, you know. But that's the first one that's just, like, whoa for me. Like, that is insanely good looking. And I love it. I love it. Alright, so we're going to go with this nice little flat area here. This is just our, kind of our supply area. Um, and I think having it set in here would be fine. And if I raised it, yeah, it's going to raise that. We're going to have to go to the nether to get these materials to actually build our town. Because otherwise, otherwise we're not going to be able to actually build things that match our town. Okay, this is like pretty much all, yeah, there's doors on every side. So we're going to say, okay. Boom, welcome to mine colonies. Now that you have your supplies, how about searching a nice location to place your town hall to create your colony? Though far away from a vanilla village, if possible. Yeah, there's one over there. I don't know that I would say it's far away. And there's one right there. Yeah, well, that's okay. But we have a little starter home. And meat and food and tools. Oh, man. Okay, I love this. Alright, so I do believe we are going to end out this episode here, though. Um, next episode, when we come back, we are going to place our town hall. We're going to start into mine colonies, I think. Um, probably spend the first few episodes working on mine colonies. Starting us a little town uh, before we delve into some serious building of our own. And then hopefully push into create, I think, would probably be our next, our next order of business, I believe. Um... But we'll see. We'll see how things go. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you're as hyped as I am about this uh, this pack and this series. I'm actually really excited for this. Um, this is going to be, like I said, just a really laid back thing. We don't have to worry about quests. Um, there's a lot more to do than just vanilla. Um, and we can just have a bit of fun and do some building. Like, Enigmatica has been the series I've had the most fun on. And that's because I'm not taking anything too seriously. We're just kind of laid back um, and doing our own thing. And this will be kind of the same thing as that, except a little bit different, I guess. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Stay up to date with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care. Stay safe. I'll see you guys then.